What's going on YouTube? Game Driver here, and yes, we're finally back with a video. I know, again, I apologize for the delay. There's just been a lot of stuff happening with fixing the computer, replacing the parts, and like waiting on parts to come in, whether it's eBay or Newegg or Amazon, and tracking down delivery drivers because they can't get into the building because the gate code on the actual door doesn't allow them in. So making sure I'm always here when the package is close to arriving. <clears throat> Besides doing all that, you know, things have been pretty good, but it's been a little busy. So, besides all that, let's go ahead, as promised, get into the Animal Crossing review. Let's check it out. Alright, welcome to the world of Animal Crossing. Yes, the game we've all been waiting for, for this amazing review and what Animal Crossing entitles. Welcome. Yes, so this is Isabel. She'll be your greeter. Uh, probably more so towards the middle of the game. Again, I didn't play this game all that much. There's about a, maybe a month, month and a half max of how long I've played this. So it's all I got done in months. So don't judge the island. It's definitely not a five out of five island where it's like all customized. But basically, um, yeah, these are the items you use in the game. This is the front yard. I'm not going to show you the inside of my house because there's absolutely nothing done to the house either. So um yeah i know i again i i didn't pre-plan this review so i didn't get much done this game, this is a game i just had um uh, when it came out just to kind of check it out I've never owned an animal crossing game so just to see what it was about some of my friends had it so i said why not we could run to each other's islands check it out anyway you have your neighbors in the game that you can actually choose where they go on the island. Uh, so that's pretty cool. This game is super customizable. So actually it lets you, um, it lets you choose where you want and what you want to do pretty much everywhere, including the landscape, including the trees, where they go, pla placing them in the correct spots. Um, it allows you to fish and there's even a museum, which you'll see later where all your, you know, fish that you caught or the bugs you've caught or anything like that um get stored so that way you know if you want to look back at everything you've caught your amazing collection from your wild adventures you can definitely go in there and attain that so um so here yeah i'm trying to catch a fish it clearly wasn't getting the bite you kind of have to aim in front of its face then it'll see it you hold down a for when the little bob goes underwater and there you go, you caught yourself a fish. In this case, we have ourselves a sea bass, yes. It's a actually a C plus, haha, <laughs> get it, sea bass, C plus. Anyways, again, so yeah, you, if your items are full, you throw the fish out, you know how it is in most games. And then um, besides this, you kind of have your own little beach patio uh, where you can also fish out of, there's nothing there, I saw this bubble, so I said, hey, why not I'll throw in the hook? Um, anyways. So I created a nice little area right here, a little flamingo, lifeguard seat, umbrella. Um, and in here, what am I looking for? Oh, my fossils and items. Yeah, that's all. Pretty much full item bag. Um, over here, we have a river, but then I built a bridge to save time from choosing your actual, you know, item to action, whether it's climbing up a bridge or up a cliff or across the river. But this is my island right here. Here's another neighbor. This is actually the store. Uh, we can go ahead and check that out. Uh, this is where all your items you find across the island, you can sell for bells, which is the currency in the game. Um, and here are your little admin vendor um, sellers, or actually buyers, because you sell to them. So yeah, pretty much, you know, you find out what you want go ahead and sell that so in this case there we go i selected all those and we are good here you go sell that and i have twenty thousand eight hundred bells now um, that i could use towards either buying more things for the house or the island or pay off my loan to tom nook who holds all the bank in the game um so if we go over here to the right there is the museum Yes, yeah, so everything, like I mentioned earlier, is everything you catch along the way on your journey of Animal Crossing will be stored here as long as you donate it. Um, if you go here to the right, it has a nice... I like the way the game actually has this layout of the actual museum. It kind of looks really, you know, unique in its own way. Um, almost like real life type you know, style. So 
Um, that was pretty cool the way the developers made that. Um, this game has been getting updates as well. There's I've been noticed that um, you know for it, this game is real time. Um, how do I explain it? It's pretty much real clock time. So let's say right now it's you know 2:16 p.m. In the game it will be 2:16 p.m. And certain things happen at certain times of the day. So it's based off real time and it you know it works off the real clock. So. Let's say one, only some things show up at nighttime, then you have to play this game at nighttime in order to be able to attain that. Um, and let's say you can't catch a certain fish uh, during this part or this time of the year, you're actually going to have to set, you know, you can go back into the, like your actual Nintendo Switch settings and change the date in order to catch that fish. But then again, that's kind of cheating, not the purpose of the game. That's just something um, I just wanted to point out. Um, but yeah, other than that, here, check this out. We have more of this area, which is now the garden area where all your bugs and little critters that you caught belong. Um, if you go right here to the left, you see more fish down there, tadpoles, things like that. Um, and I'll take you into the butterfly garden. So in this garden, you have, uh, pretty much everything you've caught. Yeah. And these guys have little emotes you can do. I forgot to show you these, so check this out. Oh, you could do like shocked or anything like that. And then, uh, anyways, let's keep going. Um, here's some other displays where I haven't caught anything for those displays. Um, but, you know, if you play long enough, you will have everything you need. Um, so let's go ahead, exit out of here. Um, so yeah, pretty much, I don't know, let me know what you guys think. I know this is definitely not a competitive type game whatsoever. Um, you are competing, I guess, with your real life friends on who's farther in their island, who's more advanced, and who has a bigger house. Um, that just comes with time, you know, if anyone, if everyone just farms all day, you know, you, you get fruit, get items, sell them to those two. Um, you know, you will eventually have enough money to do whatever you want on your island and build anything you want. And then, Here's an example of donating your fish to the museum. So here I went ahead and donated my ray, and then now I'll see it in the aquarium later on. So that's the purpose of this museum. Um, let me know what you guys think so far. Do you, is this a game that you would like, or is this too much of a common release and relaxing type of game for you? I know some people do enjoy just kind of mindlessly playing around, not really having to uh, put in so much effort um, we're trying to, you know, get a win or, you know, getting, um, you know, a good hit ratio on something if you're playing like a shooter, but yeah, that's no, it's a pretty cool game. You know, you can water your plants, run around, dig, plant trees. Um, again, this is more of a competitive aspect to, um, to like how you and your friends, you know, get your islands customized and who has like the better looking island. I guess that's like as far as it gets in terms of com competition um but yeah if you do like that piece of the game then i'd say you know this game might be for you if you're trying to show off the, your style again people primarily get this game to show off their unique style of how they would customize their home their island where certain things would be you can make certain themes like a breaking bad theme or you could go with um i mean i don't know like any kind of i guess theme you know a, gar a full-on garden or like if you want to match up to some show anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video let's go ahead and get into the thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed the video i know that was super quick but don't worry that's only because i did not have that five star island um to show you guys so there are a bunch more features i didn't get into but it's okay you know hey maybe you should go out buy the game let me know make me aware of what maybe i missed out and maybe i'll make that video or maybe i'll even visit your island once you complete that five star island and we can review that but for now um this game i would say yeah if you are into that relaxing super not competitive type style of game just want to play run around plant things and fish and sell bugs and go into museums and look around at all the things you've caught then hey <laughs> you know this game is for you but if you're looking for more of that competitive like you know fast intense exhilarating type action then you know it might not be the game for you but again hey to each their own for those of you new to this channel again we do game reviews and i will be soon adding other things to the channel as well but for now hope you guys enjoyed the video catch you guys next time peace